Shalom, shalom, Israel. Giving no praise to Yahweh. Bashim, Yahusha, Bashim, Rechak, Dash, the one said, I hope this is a dream. well. Salutations to you. I out there pushing this word and truth, surely risking your freedom in your life to do so. This is going to be a fairly short video. Um, a land back off of uh, Elder, Elder Makama from um, from uh, Chicago camp. Elder, Elder out there. Uh, double honors to him too, man. He's been putting the work in. Uh, definitely edifying videos. And this is his channel. This is his page. Um, you know, I recommend you subscribe. Hit the notification bell also, you know. He brings out a lot of heavy edification uh, videos, you know, concerning the times that we're in, you know, because we're in the end times. And um, this is a beautiful, this is a beautiful video that he, uh, a clip that he had. I can't find exactly where he had the clip. But, um, you know, pretty much he goes into uh, this. Well, this lady goes into how BlackRock is buying up all the property and renting it out. You know, and um, we know that the Lord moves the hearts of the kings to do his will. And Esau has something called pressure from below and pressure from above. To pretty much squeeze people out. So I'm going to play the video. We get a couple of scriptures. Yeah, so look. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But um, they said, uh, according to statistics, 18 million people, uh, men in particular, ages from 26 to 41, have moved back home with their parents because uh, things is real tight, you know. Um, and this is a part of Satan's devices, you know, to uh, further afflict children of Israel to put pressure and really in an usher in that new system is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the habitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Now this goes in you know him bringing the martial law and everything like that. You know fam bringing up about the family and stuff like that. But um. This also, you know, reflects the current current conditions of the market, of the stock market, of the uh, the housing market, because we know all hell break loose. When people have nothing to lose, they lose it. So pretty much, if people can't afford to live, what do you think is going to happen? This is going to be a domino effect to where they say, you know what, screw it. I don't have nothing to eat or I can't afford rent. You know, I'm going to start robbing people. I'm going to start taking from people. And this is a part of Esau's, you know, coming down with great wrath. And uh, this is from the New York Times. This is an article I found. It says, why the road is getting even rockier for first-time home, home buyers. Man, this just goes to show you that, you know, America is in a steep, steep decline, you know. That uh, it's in a decadent decline. Uh, because... It was a saying before, the American dream was the, the white picket fence, you know, Lily, Sally, uh, you have your wife, 2.5 children, and a white picket fence in a nice big house, you know, but that dream is uh, slowly, no, right now is quickly eroding, you know, and we got Esau to blame for that. Uh, <laughs> Well, really, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, because he wants to bring down the comfort of the people. Uh, it says investors and corporations are buying up houses and turning them into rental properties. In Charlotte, North Carolina, that is adding to hurdles facing would be buyers navigating a brutal market. And he says this is the guy more his lawn than they were in Charlotte, North Carolina. I actually used to live out there, man. And, man, Charlotte, Charlotte was beautiful, it had a lot of green grass. 
you know, and it was a whole bunch of pine trees. And it was like nature's air freshener. Man, within, I swear, like 10 years, um, last time I went, it smelled like the city. And mind you, Charlotte is a huge, huge landmass. It's not like New York where you got building on top of building. Uh, you have houses in, 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 in cul-de-sacs and suburb, the suburbs. And they, they're cutting down all the forest to put up homes. And they set it up rental properties, you know what I'm saying? So I, I really witnessed that, you know? And now when you look for an apartment, especially in, you know, major cities, it goes anywhere from 2000 to 4000 $6,000. A month, you know, how, how many people are actually making that? But um, that's a part of Esau's wrath. Uh, I read a little bit. At her first meetings with clients, many hoping to buy a first home, Sarah Ortiz Hilton runs through a list of warnings. They may have to offer tens of thousands of dollars over the asking price only to have those offers rejected anyway. Miss Hilton, a real estate agent, tells them they might have to put up thousands of dollars in non-refundable fees to get a seller to consider their offer. And if they're looking for a home for less than 300000 they might be out of luck. See, look at that. And, and they say the majority of Americans, the average earning American, makes roughly between uh, 30, 32 to, I believe, $50,000. Who the hell can afford three hundred thousand uh, dollars uh, mortgage? You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna drop that, man. Um, Second Ezra is eleven verse forty, and the fourth came. The fourth is talking about the fourth kingdom, which is uh, Rome, and now we're in revised Rome because according to Revelations, I forget the chapter. It says, uh, "As if the head was wounded to death." Uh, but lived so you know rome came back into power and now we know him today as america america is uh modern rome so that fourth is america or the roman system and overcame all the beasts that were past all the all the kingdoms of before and had power over the world with great fearfulness and over the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression and that includes uh uh, not only, you know, in America, but the whole entire world is there to afflict you, gentrify the whole world, take over the whole world, put embassies, garrisons, tax the people out, out the wazoo. You make a certain amount of money, you got to pay 40% of your check in taxes. I mean, it's just much wicked oppression. In so long time, dwelt he upon the earth with deceit, with lies, treachery, robbery, you know. It, it, it shouldn't be a, a such thing as renter market, you know? People shouldn't be renting, but this is Esau's ploy to steal wealth from, from people, especially our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And our message is to get right, you know? Because uh, this is only going to culminate into a very, very bad, bleak times for our people, man. Economic, economic hardships, which will cause, you know, Jacob's trouble. So I just wanted to close it with that. Go follow this video. Uh, go follow this brother's this eldest channel, of the Uh He has a couple other channels, but this one he he's very active on, and uh, he has a very uh, heavy edify edifying uh, videos, like I said. But um, yeah, with that one, give up. How about you, my shout? How about you, my cock? That's the bond to the eldest. So you teach you, I keep until next time. Shalom.